Facebook coming clean Wednesday, admitting it uncovered $100,000 in political ad dollars it received from a sketchy operation probably connected to Russia. Reuters technology editor Jonathan Weber. There have been a lot of suspicions and a lot of questions around the role that Facebook played in the presidential election, and in particular whether the uh, alleged uh, Russian influence operations and interference in the election uh, whether that was kind of conducted on Facebook. So uh, people have been very curious to see, you know, to know, like, did Russian affiliated groups buy ads on Facebook? Was Facebook somehow a platform for disinformation or fake news or things like that? And Facebook now is saying yes. The world's leading social network making the admission after conducting an internal probe. So what did it find out? These ads, which promoted divisive social and political messages on gay rights, immigration, and race relations, were shown on Facebook for a two-year period, ending in May. But that's not all. Then there was a second pot of money, and another $50,000, which was spent directly on the election by individuals and entities in Russia, although Facebook does not know exactly who. So there's certainly indications here that, indeed, Facebook was a platform that was used by these Russian propaganda entities to try to uh, kind of influence the election in some way. And so that certainly will be of interest to all the investigators who are looking into the uh, 2016 campaign. Facebook says it is cooperating with federal probes and has already taken steps, including the suspension of pages that violate its authenticity requirements.